think the whole idea behind this, um, everybody in the space doesn't really like the term gamification because it sounds like, I don't know, something that's not for work. Um, but the whole idea is basically people want to succeed. They're motivated to do well. Can we change the approach, um, like for instance, the way we train new employees or the way we train sales folks to sell things that gets away from, I'm gonna give you a test because nobody likes that. No one likes going in a room for two days, having a lecture and then taking a test. Can we change it more where I'm gonna have you do smaller things, but when you do it, you'll get immediate feedback and feel like you have a sense of accomplishment, right? And so we're finding in those areas, People really like this, right? Because they can learn at their own pace, they learn much faster, they get to productivity more quickly, and they feel happy about it, right? And they share their success, everybody sees it. So it's very motivating in the end. And we're seeing places like uh, indirect sales channels. So I don't know if you've ever thought about it, but you take a company like Apple, they own the, they own the device, they own the operating system, they own the stores, they own the employees. It's not like it's easy for them to roll out a new product, but they own all the pieces. You take a company like HTC, they only make the handset, right? Google makes the operating system. Best Buy and Radio Shack have employees that sell it. It's hard for them to motivate these people selling it to their customers to sell their new product. And so they're using these technologies to basically make these people get excited about the new platform, to share what works, to, to learn the new features and it gives them a good chance to know who's good at it so they can kind of give them more perks and rewards and so really they're just using the fact that people want to do well um, but they just don't want to go through the old certification process. There's this idea of using gamification to, to drive business results then and, and improve a company. I mean, how, how exactly will that happen in, in the long term and how will we see it taking off? Yeah, so it, it happens in a few different areas. I think we're taking that concept that if we can influence your behavior, right? And this is where when they talk about game mechanics, really it's all around how can we make what you're doing seem either more approachable or more fun to you or encourage you to do certain things that we want you to do and align all those interests. Um, I think you'll see it all throughout work. So um, if you get onto a new platform, it used to be, and you may remember this, like if I sold you software, it would always come with like a day of classes so you could learn how to use the software. The world of games, there's never a manual for games. I mean, they're built so that you discover them kind of in, in steps and you don't go on to the next more difficult part till you learn the first part. We're taking that approach to all aspects of what we design as well. So when you get onto the platform for Jive, it should be pretty intuitive how you discover it and how you learn to use it. As you sort of like teach new employees about your company, we're trying to make it easy for you to implement that as well so that everything's in bite-sized chunks and a journey as opposed to like, a big deluge of information. Yeah. Because a big part of games is is that sense of the gaming community and that sense of competition within not just with yourself but with your other peers around you. Will, the, will we see this feeding into businesses then, with this business kind of talking more to each other and looking at what they're doing? And yeah. So I mean, one thing that we found competition is important, but for a lot of people. Uh, it's not all just about winning. I mean, a lot of them really just want peer recognition. They really want to collaboratively, I mean, you know, when we're a team and we win together, it's not always just like I did better than you. And, and people are motivated by that. The thing that is becoming better on the technology though is keeping score. People do like to keep score. If you do a good job, you want to be recognized for that. And I think that's where these gamification techniques help a lot because we keep score, right? When you contribute something and a thousand people read it and got value out of that, we let you know. And that helps you know, like, hey, that wasn't that was worth my time to publish that document. 